I had traveled alone to a Michael's craft store. The store was quiet that day. The low groan of the wheels on my cart grumbled as I wandered up and down every aisle. I turned to the corner and I saw the best craft pumpkin I had ever seen in my life. I put him into my cart. He truly was the great pumpkin. I sped off to the checkout counter where the cashier asked me, do you have a coupon? And I did. For I am a Michaels Rewards member and I do receive their emails. And so I opened up my email and I searched my inbox. There was no coupon. It had vanished as if into thin air. And I had to pay full price for that. So let this be a warning to all of you, my friends out there, before you ever go to a Michael's craft store, make sure you have your 40% off coupon. Lest this awful, terrible tragedy should happen to you. princess in my very first Halloween video. I have three projects today and I hope that you really enjoy them. For the first project, you're going to need three of these little decor boxes that I got from the Dollar General store for just $1 a piece. And you're going to paint them your Halloween colors of choice. I chose black. I did two of them black and one of them in this pumpkin orange color, which I mixed some orange and some black to get kind of a dulled, more pumpkin-y orange color. Um, I'm always so excited I forget to take the tags off before I begin painting, but do take your tags off. Paint the insides, outsides, all around the whole box. Now, the second thing you'll need are these napkins that I got from Dollar General for a dollar. And I thought they would be the perfect thing to put inside of these boxes for a little background. I'm using regular school glue to adhere these napkins to each one of the boxes. I just smear the glue around with a foam paint brush, but you could sure use Mod Podge or um, even a hot glue gun or even tape. Just whatever will stick it down inside of the box. And I do the same thing for all three boxes. To decorate your boxes, I was using vintage images that I found on just on Google just I googled vintage Halloween and you'll get these images go to the images button you'll get all kinds of vintage Halloween images and I love the cat is my favorite all-time favorite but I picked out quite a few that you see here that I printed on one piece of paper um, just size them to however whatever size that you feel like is appropriate for the inside of the box and then cut each one of them out. So what we're wanting to do is make these vintage images kind of pop out from the back. So we're using these wooden beads that I am using just regular black acrylic paint to 
color than black and there's only two here in this video i don't know what i was thinking i have three boxes i should have had three beads here but i realized that later on and grab a third and to give the paper that the images are printed on more stability and just make them heavier weight, I'm using black cardstock paper that we will glue the paper images onto just to make them sturdier. and I found it um, so it's a you can't tell it really in the video but it's really a brown color so that's why I'm painting it black right now um, with just regular black acrylic paint mm -hmm. 
You can certainly put whatever you want inside of your cloche, but I'm going with the Dollar Tree Black Roses. I just plucked one out of the bunch and I'm going to hot glue it down onto the bottom. I did trim, I snipped off a piece of the plastic where the flower was attached to the stem. Oh my gosh, if you try this next project, you are going to have so much fun with it. It's just a candle and a black crayon. And here comes some pyromania. Just take your long candle lighter and melt that black crayon all the way around the candle, dripping that black wax. Look how it just drips perfectly down the side. That is so satisfying to me. I enjoyed this project so much. And since I had kind of accidentally dripped some of the black wax onto the top of the candle, I decided to just try to go for an entirely black top. So what was left of my crayon that I couldn't hold on to anymore because my fingers were getting too hot, I just laid it on top of the candle. I used a toothpick to kind of move it around when I needed to, and I melted it down into a puddle on the top of the candle.
So this is just the beginning, people. I'm going to be doing a lot more Halloween projects, and I will let you know as soon as I get more of them done. I'm going to put them right up here on this YouTube channel, and I'll be posting, as always, every Friday. I'd appreciate it if you all could show me some love, give me some support, and hit that subscribe button. You can follow me over on Instagram. You can also find me on Pinterest. And I do have a blog, thedistressedprincess.com, where you can find full tutorials on all of my projects. Hope to see you around and bye for now.